after 59. All right. Fuck you. You guys are good to go. Come on, I love you, Ben. Y'all are good to go. All right. Uh, yeah, we got more Sheik Fox. So I think David doesn't have a third party controller tonight. So that can only be good, be good news for him, right? Okay. Good up air. David up to a strong start. Uh, if we get an up smash or an up air here, it'll be a kill. That should be a kill regardless. Only 21. Uh, uh, I feel like I need to say something in chat about that. Okay. Anyway. So now we're here. Solid crouch cancel just gets it. This back air. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. And then literally someone I don't want to talk about those stocks. How you doing, Logan? Yes it is. Hello, Logan. Hey, what's up, man? Right there. Like, like, no, Ooh, okay, not gonna cross up there. Jill's gonna come up. David looking uh, pretty strong. You know, even regardless of Llama's kind of... Okay, look, I hate this game. Uh, what matches are in winners? Winners finals just concluded. Uh, Magi took it 3-2 over Jaysalt. Uh, yeah, I like that back air, but it doesn't work out this time. Justin, uh, sorry, David uh, is gonna respect the possibility here of the ledge dash four tail gonna avoid it and just wave shine up smash really quick game but i don't think it really is representative of either player's skill so we can take fountain or dreamland or go back to battlefield right if you're chic a little dash dance grab whoops whoops all right, just a little crash cancel. This like kind of sloppiness like doesn't favor Sheik though, right? Because Fox kind of wins neutral in this matchup. So it's like if you're Sheik, you really have to get a lot more mileage off of your openings. You could down smash, but it means you don't get a follow up, right? At this percentage, you much rather get a grab. Right here, Fox gets to play neutral again. Just up smashes you out of there. Gross, gross. Ooh, Lama not with the good DI. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. Real close. Okay, look. I'm pretty sure the stream setup is cursed and no one is allowed to play well on it. So, you know, I, I I think it's the Dazzle doing it. I, I really think it's the Dazzle. When Justin was streaming using the Elgato, uh, it wasn't nearly this bad. So I, I think it's the Dazzle, but it's hard to be sure. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing, dude? How you doing? I'm great. What's up? Good to see you. I didn't know. When did you get here? Uh, 20 minutes ago. I just got here. Cool. See, earlier I was like, oh, I'm smelling like instant noodles. What is that? And I turn around and see you with instant noodles. Yeah, I hear you. Hey, instant noodles are pretty good, honestly. They're not that bad, you know, for what they are. It's like a dollar and it's like a meal. It's hard to get like the chips from gas stations, so not Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hammond. You you're still staying at Southeastern, those apartments? Oh, so you're not at those apartments anymore? Oh, hell. <laughs> Dude, Slidell is fucking garbage. I'm gonna be honest, Slidell's like a shittier Baton Rouge. <laughs> no, dudes. I tell you, Slidell's 100% a shittier Baton Rouge. It's not, dude. There was a venue in Baton Rouge that shut down yesterday because a guy pulled a gun over 88. Okay. Bro, I can see that happening in at least three venues in Slidell. There was a, there was a pack okay. show. There's a pack show. The uh, sound engineer guy is paid a flat rate on the show. Well, since it was a big turnout, he wanted a bigger compensation, even though he was guaranteed a flat rate. Uh huh. You know what? That dude was probably from Slido. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the backwash of memory. 
<laughs> no, it's like the ass crack of better. <laughs> Slidell, dude. Okay. I mean, Baton Rouge ain't great, but it ain't fucking Slidell. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a kill. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. You know, I, mean, I understand. It's funny that Shreveport is technically a worse place to live, but I've seen way more homeless people in Baton Rouge. Yeah, there are more people in general, so of course there will be more homeless people. Okay, uh, so I spent a bunch of time talking shit, talking Slidell instead of talking about the game. <laughs> David won that game. I didn't really watch what happened. Ooh, almost. Okay. Doesn't do the drill that well, just grab gets grabbed out of it. Wow, that spot dodge is pretty big. We got crouch cancel wars. Oh, just gonna hit him off. Yeah, definitely looking for the drill shine of Smash follow-up. Yeah, that's gonna be a kill. So Lama has his first lead of the set, I'm pretty sure. Middle of the loser's semi's match. Yep, you're gone. Yeah, just like normal stuff. Yeah, you know, he kind of flubbed the last one, but I think it ended up kind of okay. Like, you wouldn't have had to lose that stock that happened. Yeah, that down smash is kind of like just, I, I hope you mess up your double jump sweet spot. And again, it works sometimes, right? Like, we saw Magi actually connect it on JSOL during Winner's Finals. But, you know, sometimes also you have to assume that they're going to be a little more competent in their option and call it out with a different op with a different move. So, like, the rising neutral air off of the ledge would have worked well there, I think. Oh, he tried to go a little too swaggy. David DI'd out of it. If he had just directly gone into the forward air after hitting him off, then it may have been a kill. David had good DI, though, so, you know, that's just the nature of the mix-up on the follow-ups. Ooh, yeah. Looks like Lama could use some Uncle Punch to DI those up airs. Ouch. Ouch. Ah, uh, what a big shine spike. Yeah, that's gonna be a stock. Three, up three stocks to one. Murrow looking really nice here. And uh, Llama looking like a rugby player. Look <laughs> sad, he's like, shut up, Howard. <laughs> All right, here's a grab. Great tech chase, but yeah, you have to be ready for the platform. He is. Side B. Ooh, he's going to mess that up a little bit. David's just like barely outside of the range of a lot of these moves. Like once again with that back air, he does it fading back, so it's kind of safe. But it's just like, if you just look at the conversion game, like Llama gets like that. Whereas Mura gets that, right? And it's like, you'd 100% rather be Fox there. Kind of ugly set from Llama, but Mura looks pretty good.